everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So for today's video, I'm actually gonna be doing a girl talk video. I asked you guys over on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram on screen just in case you're not following me and you want to take part in future Q and A's and videos like this. So you guys asked me a bunch of questions that you want me to answer in this video. So I'm just gonna get right into it and let's just get started. So the first topic I'm gonna address is being a virgin and losing your virginity, that sort of thing. I'm not gonna put any screenshots of any questions that have been asked just because I want everyone to stay anonymous. So somebody asked me, is it normal for me to be a virgin at 17 and then someone else asked when do you think is the best time or age to lose your virginity so addressing the first question yes it is completely normal to be a virgin at 17 you do not have to worry you do not have to feel pressured you don't have to feel like you're the odd one out and that of course leads on to the second question there is no right or wrong age to lose your virginity as long as you're over the age of 16 and I just feel like people shouldn't feel pressured to lose their virginity at a young age or to, you know, lose it at the same age as their friends. Every single person is different and it totally depends on your situation. You know, you could find the love of your life at the age of 16 and be completely comfortable with that person and be in love. Or you might not find someone that you're comfortable with enough or want to share that experience with until you're um, like 23 or something. It really doesn't matter. So yeah, if you're 16, if you're 26, it really doesn't matter. What matters is that it's consensual, that it's safe and that you want to do it. So please don't ever feel pressured into doing something like losing your virginity just because you feel like you have to because all your friends are or you feel like everyone your age already has. And the thing is there is absolutely no rush and I think some people get in their minds that there is because they feel like they have to do what their friends are doing or you know they have to do this to fit in. But honestly just let things happen at their own pace and don't rush into anything that you're not ready for and you know just let things naturally happen that's the advice that i would give you guys the next question is this might sound really silly but does having sex hurt for the first time so obviously everyone's answer is going to be different for this but i think for most girls it does um for me like it didn't actually hurt until afterwards which i don't know if that's normal um but i know that i've heard a lot of girls say that their first time actually hurt um but for me, it didn't actually hurt. It was afterwards. I was like, oh, okay, this is a bit sore. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's pretty normal for your first time to hurt, but you know, it's just that one time that it's gonna hurt. So don't be afraid. So moving on to my next category of questions, which is all about periods. I've got loads of questions about this. So I'm just gonna answer as many of them as possible for you guys. The first question is, I'm 15 and never gotten my period. I feel embarrassed and I just want to fit in. So there's absolutely no need to be embarrassed. Again, it's just like losing your virginity. You know, it happens at a different age for everyone. And that's the same with your period. Do not stress, it will happen and it'll just happen in its own time. And honestly, it doesn't make a difference if you start earlier or if you start later. To be honest, I would just say to you, enjoy it whilst you don't have it because once you do start it, you've got that for years and years until you're old so just enjoy not having to deal with period pains whilst you can honestly it will happen don't stress about it and honestly once you do get your period you'll be thinking why did i want this so bad gosh i wish i could go back in time and just enjoy not having my period so lots of people were asking what age i started my period and how i told my mum so i was 14 when i started my period and i told my mum in the most casual way ever i remember it so clearly i literally came out of the shower I noticed I was bleeding. So I opened the door, I literally put my head out and I was like, mom, can you come here a second? Just like shouted her. She came to the door and I was like, hey, so I'm bleeding, can you just pass me a sanitary towel? And she was like, yeah, sure. Like honestly, it's not a big deal whatsoever. It's so normal, it happens to every single woman. So don't be embarrassed or afraid to tell your mom because I promise you, she'll react just like that. She will literally hand you a sanitary towel or a tampon and she'll be like, there you go. You're a woman, hooray. <laughs> By the way, my dad's gardening, so you can probably hear him shoveling outside. So I apologize for the noise. So someone's asking, are tampons better than pads? And again, this is just completely down to personal choice and um, everyone has their own preference. So I would just recommend trying both and seeing what works best for you, what you find most comfortable. There's no right or wrong answer. I've personally used both, but I use um, sanitary towels most just because I find them a whole lot easier. <laughs> what symptoms do you get with your period and how do you manage these? I honestly don't know where to begin. I've got a whole list of them. Um, but the funny thing was, like for the first three years that I had my period, I literally didn't have 
like any symptoms at all and I always used to think like oh why do people like make such a big deal about this like it's not bad at all and oh boy was I wrong because since then like these last few years have just been awful for me. Again everyone differs and everyone's gonna experience a different period and different period pains and different symptoms. So like three or four days before my actual period starts I get really bad stomach cramps, I get pains in my legs, my spots get even worse before my period and then it's really weird because when I'm on my actual period my skin it doesn't clear up because my skin will never be clear but it is a lot clearer than it usually is. My cramps when I'm on my period are literally unbearable like through the roof. I remember about two years ago them being the worst where I literally um, couldn't like get off the sofa. I was just like curling up in pain just crying like my sister had to phone the doctor to see like what the hell was going on because she was freaked out. I feel faint when I have my period. I feel like I'm gonna vomit and I feel dizzy. Just I get lower symptoms basically. But I don't want to scare anybody because obviously not everyone's period is like that and a lot of people experience a lot less severe pains. So my best advice for managing period pain would be to take Feminax. It's literally a lifesaver. I honestly don't know what I would do without it. I also think that a hot water bottle is a lifesaver when you're on your period. Just the heat really helps with the stomach cramps. And then this kind of moves on to the next category of questions. But um, what's also really helped with me is being on the pill. Like it has helped my pains so, so much. So moving on to the topic of contraception, someone asked, what is your chosen method of birth control and do you have any side effects? So like I said, I am currently on the pill and the reason that my doctor recommended that form of contraception was because it also helps with period pains, like I just said. It also really suits my lifestyle because I'm pretty good at remembering to take pills, so it's pretty easy for me just to take a pill each morning. Obviously, there's loads of other forms of contraception, so I would just recommend doing your research into those and just um, looking at the benefits of each one and just think about what would suit you best. So talking about side effects, I did actually think that I was experiencing some side effects and that it might be to do with my pill. But I spoke to my doctor about it but they didn't really think it was um, because I thought I was experiencing like low mood and stuff and mood swings and just feeling down. But I think it probably was just me just having a bad time and it wasn't anything to do with the pill because I'm actually feeling a lot better now. I do think that my skin has got worse and I don't know if that's anything to do with the pill because when I actually went on the pill the doctors was like oh this might actually help your skin and I feel like it's had the opposite effect on me. Again it might not be anything to do with that, I don't really know, I'm not very experienced in that side of things. But again when it comes to contraception it's just again a case of trial and error trying different things and seeing what works best for you and everyone's going to be different and everyone's going to prefer different um, types of contraception. And when is the right time to approach the subject of contraception with your parents? So if you're feeling like you're experiencing really bad period pains, I would definitely suggest talking to your parents as soon as possible about going on the pill and just explain to them that it's to help with your period pains because I honestly wish I'd done it earlier. It's so important to be open about these sort of things. So just go to your mum, go to your sister, whoever it is um, that you feel comfortable talking with and just be open and honest and tell them how you're feeling, tell them why you want to go on this contraception and just get their point of view and their opinion and just listen to their advice. If however you want to talk to your mum about contraception because you're going to become sexually active then again being open and honest is the best thing here because I guarantee you she would rather that you be safe and just talk to her about it and you know um, decide on what contraception you're going to go on. She would rather that you do that and be safe whilst you're having sex than to you know not be safe. So these next questions are not categorised whatsoever they're just random ones but I thought I would answer them anyways because they're really good. The next question is do you prefer shaving or waxing? So I personally shave just because I think is very convenient and you know it's cheap you just buy reusable razors and you just shave whenever you want it's pretty easy i would actually love to have the confidence to be able to go to a salon and get waxed and also it's probably because i'm very tight with my money so i don't want to pay someone to remove my hair when i can do it at home with like a one pound razor i have actually tried at home like do-it-yourself wax kits i did it with my sister one time for a laugh we were like waxing our legs and the reason i wouldn't do it again was because it didn't really remove much hair and it didn't really hurt that much so i don't think it was 
a proper good waxing kit um, so I feel like you'd probably have to go to a salon to get a proper good wax. Something that I would actually love to do is get laser hair removal. Honestly if I had the money I would literally laser all my body hair off. It would be great. I wouldn't have to think about removing hair ever again. So definitely if I come into any money I am removing all my hair laser style. <laughs> The next question is, do you talk about sex with your mum and your sisters? Me and my mum and my sisters, we're very open. We have a great relationship, we're very close and we're just very open and honest with each other and we can go to each other to ask anything, to talk about anything and you know what, just in general, like me and especially my sister Laura and actually to be fair, my mum, we just have a very like dirty sense of humour. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've worded that the best way but we just always make jokes and stuff and we can just be very open and honest about that sort of thing um, and I think that's the best way to be because sex is so normal like everybody does it um, so just don't be afraid to talk about it. Obviously you don't have to share experiences that's not what I'm saying but you can be completely comfortable asking questions about it. So the last question is, best way to deal with bitchy girls in school? I've always struggled with this. So first of all, trust me, you are not the only person to struggle with this. I think a lot of girls struggle with this. I struggled with this all throughout school and to be honest, I still struggle with it to this day. My best advice would be to stay true to yourself and don't try and change who you are just to fit in. I struggle to fit in and make friends with girls and I've just learned to be okay with that and to just accept that. I usually get on better with guys just because in my experience they're just more straight talking and I can't deal with people like being two-faced and being nice to your face and then talking badly about you behind your back. So the best thing you can do is literally ignore it which is easier said than done but try not to let things that they say get to you because at the end of the day you know you best and you know that you're a good person and that's all that matters. It's not nice being lonely in school but for me I just didn't like getting involved in drama and in gossip and I would much rather just stay true to myself. At the end of the day you're in school to learn and yes it does make it easier having friends to help you get through it but just try your best to focus on your schoolwork and not worry too much about what other people are thinking about you or what they're gossiping about or rumours are spreading and things like that. Sadly it doesn't stop after school and you experience it in workplaces and stuff but there are nice people out there and you will eventually find people that you click with and that are very honest and loyal and genuine. So that brings this video to an end. I really hope this has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who asked me some questions on Instagram. Obviously everything that I've just said is just my opinion and everyone has their different views um, but I hope that my advice has been somewhat helpful. Thank you guys so so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!